This is going to be an absolutely ridiculous statement, but this might be my favorite ever 2x2 two two base I've ever built. I know that sounds stupid. I know that sounds ridiculous. I built a lot of 2x2 two two bases and I've overwhelcomed my, overstayed my welcome in them for uh, a, a long old time. But this is just, there is just something beautiful about living between a couple trees on a cliff uh, with, with a little bit of wildlife kind of cruising around us. It's just, it's just, I don't know. Like, look at this. Look how picturesque it is. It's just beautiful. Until something inevitably, maybe myself, maybe a dinosaur comes along and chops these trees down. Um, it's it's going to remain my tiny little cliffside home. But welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to our Mega Modded Survival. We're back with Anunnaki Genesis, and I'm still waiting for my damn level 520 Triceratops to tame up. But I feel like they're getting close. Um, in fact, they are getting very close. They've only got a little bit left to go, which is absolutely fantastic. In the last episode, though, we managed to finally get ourselves this. It's not just any ordinary pike. It's a beautiful pike. It's an amazing pike. It's a pike with green hand wraps on it. That signifies the fact there is there's poison on this tip. It may just look like an ordinary pike tip, but no, this here is a lance. And with this lance, I can poke dinosaurs and they fall asleep. And today, I'm going to go and do exactly that. It's finally time for us to do some solid taming. And once we do that and get our hands on a strong old dinosaur, we might even be able to do some strong, solid killing. And I can't wait. Guys, before we go any further, if you do enjoy the video, then please go ahead and uh, host your guns, apparently. Ha <laughs> ha, punch that thumbs up. <laughs> Make it rain. Those thumbs ups. I don't know what that was, but it kind of actually worked pretty well. Now, um, like, do I wait? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. where's my glider? No! Where's my glider? <laughs> Where is my glider? <laughs> I was... I guess I got a little bit used to wearing a glider we can just glide around on. Um, where did it go though? Where, 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 who, who has my glider? Is it, is it, it's in here, isn't it? It's attached to my broken setup. Oh, it's obviously in my, it's yeah, obviously we know this. We know exactly where this stuff goes. Uh, it's in my, my cosmetic folder, which by the way, have a look at this thing. Uh, I found a crossbow in a supply drop yesterday. It was one of those red ring ones. It wasn't red, it was, I think it was blue or purple. I don't know. I filmed it. Um, have a look at this thing. Legendary crossbow. I don't actually know what tier that is. It might be the equivalent of... Well, I don't know because this mod introduces like different colored upgrades and stuff. But anyways, 202% uh, damage, which means it deals double the damage of a regular one. So I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, it's going to come in real, real handy, I reckon. Um, but yeah, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. At this point as well, we've got 15 levels up our sleeve and I feel like we should allocate these somewhere. I think fortitude because I keep getting knocked out instantly by everything that touches us. A um, little bit of movement speed so I can outrun some dudes. A little bit of stamina. That's probably way too much stamina. A um, little bit of weight, a little bit of health. Probably should have done some more melee damage, but we'll just leave it at that for the time being. And that gets us access to a power generator. It also gets me access to um I can, I can fire treats oh i can work out what we need actually we knew this because i've already learned the alpha treat um there's also a primal dinosaur summoning but it looks like those are kind of expensive we're going to kill some apexes to get those um we got elixirs that's interesting okay that might come in handy i suppose um the alpha treats if i do want to tame some alphas which i do want to tame some alphas we're going to need a bunch of stuff i heard something I heard something. Sorry, that made me a little bit nervous there for a second there. Um, what else? What else? What else have we got here? We got the bad A's treats. And these need alpha blood. So yeah, like I said. Oh, and golden treats. I guess we got to kill golden dinosaurs. Wow, that's rough. Because if we look at some of the golden dinosaurs, we in the area, for example, this fella right here, 160,000 health. I got to work out a way to do all that level of damage. So yeah, we definitely got to go do some solid taming here. Um, and I think the answer is going to be in alpha dinosaurs, which let me have a little peek in here real quick. What does that actually entail? And do we have any like cool ones out in the wild anywhere? We got some alpha aloes out there. Alpha ankies, but in fact, it tells us how many there are in the wild of each of these creatures too. So that's actually cool. I didn't realize we could do that. Now for T-Rex out on the middle island over there. Uh, oh no, these are prime alphas now. Yeah, of course. Um, but you get the idea. There are things for us to, well, eventually try and kill. I'm just, I just don't know what we're going to tame to kind of bridge the gap. And I think the answer is probably going to be something like 
I don't know, that, that could T-Rex or something. We're gonna have to do something that can that can deal some solid damage. So now that we've got our la lance, lance, whatever you want to call it, I think it might be time for us to actually work on that. I'm gonna leave my trike down here for the time being. Um we're gonna head back up to the base really, really quickly. What could I be using for this? Since we've got the pike, I'm probably gonna have to need I'm probably gonna have to get another pike. Uh, we're obviously going to get a lot of arrows as well. Are there any special arrows that I can actually craft up? Not that I can get my hands on. We've got flame arrows, but I don't have propellant. Um, yeah, let's get a bunch more arrows. And actually, what did I just do with our spare crossbow? I'm going to bring that with me too. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I guess I don't need my club anymore. Um, where did my club just go? Either ways, we're going to bring the extra crossbow. Uh, we're going to put our arrows on our good one. And then I'm going to use that as my grapple one. That way, well, I don't need this one to do good damage. But I could probably repair this. Yeah, let's repair it before we go anywhere. Because it's looking a little bit, little bit banged up, to say the least. Also got to repair our armor, but I don't really have much of it. So we don't really have much of a choice. All right. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go and look for something to tame. I think I'm just going to... Well, I know this island actually has some pretty devastating dudes on it. So we probably don't even have to leave our home island. I mean, there are Therizinosaurs out here, but I, I guess I'm not really strong enough to get my hands on those guys just yet. But let's come on over here and have a little peek. These prime alphas kind of dead. Yeah, they got a lot of health. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to bother like dealing with that. Uh, we got these. I mean, like, oh, how good would that be? I got no interest in terror birds. We got the old warden dodo king over here as well. Um, that's a, that a prime alpha. A lot of health. Wowzers. Dude, it's got more health than a, than the golden fella. That's nuts. Um, hey, look, maybe my triceratops that we got currently, you know, taming. Maybe that's the answer. But let's, uh, let's keep on having a little peek over here as well. Oh, actually, I just remembered where I, where, where I, where I need to go. I want to get my hands on some cryopods soon. And I need some resources for that. I believe we need some obsidian. I think possibly some crystal or something. We're going to head over to Skull Island over here. Because in the past, that has been a very, very uh, fortuitous. Very fortu very fortunistic. I don't know. Lots of resources on this. I don't know if that's still the case or not. I haven't been over here yet on this version of the map. So let's go and check it out. So what do we have here? What is this? It's just a nice looking rock. I think it's just a nice looking rock with a little bit of crystal on it. Well, I'm not here for crystal. I want obsidian uh, and polymer. Well, I guess I need the, the obsidian for polymer. Can I hit this little spot up here? I also don't know what sort of critters are up here. So it's... Oh, hello. <laughs> Perfect. Yo, there we go. All right, obsidian. Nice. And uh, yeah, like I said, the reason we need this is for... Cryopods. That way we can actually pick up dinosaurs and we can move them around uh, rather than, well, I don't know, leaving them on the beach until something decides to come along and kill them. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, can I, sh what, can I answer this thing? I'm looking for, uh, I guess an eye hole. This will do. As I land on like this tiny little spot. Um, there's, there's fires up here. Look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Dude, you can totally build like a nice little house out here in this thing. This was never like, I mean, this is a very different looking area to what it was on the old map. But still, this thing's beautiful. We get a little bit more obsidian. I like the fact we got like just fires burning too. Look at the size of this cauldron. Freaking huge. Can we enter this little ruin up here though? That's what I'm kind of... How can I not walk up this stair? Are you kidding me? Why am I getting stuck on the stairs? That should just be a smooth experience. Okay, this doesn't... It's not a cave. Unless I gotta go... No, it's... It, I mean, it looks beautiful, but it's... It's not a cave, apparently. Let me just scoot my caboot around here. Maybe I'll go up on the... On the top of it? Oh, we got bats. Oh, we got bats. Okay, that's kind of... Not ideal. We still got bats. Okay, so this is still... Island creature esque, I suppose. Oh my gosh. There, okay, there is so much obsidian now. Okay, so this is still just resource city. But have it like you could base up here so well. 
except for the bats. That's a, that's a little bit of a problem. All right, let me fly into this thing's mouth just to, just once and for all so we can actually get inside of this thing. Let me see what's going on inside of there. Can I get up through the waterfall? Nope, there's nothing up here. <laughs> Wait, this is it? Oh, gosh. I can't even... I think... Oh, so this thing doesn't have an interior anymore. It does have what it looked like a broken texture, though. Uh, nah, that's normal. All right, either ways, I think we've got everything. Yeah, look at that. That looks a bit janky. Um, I'm going to take this stuff back home real quick. Because I think I've got everything I need to make cryopods now. Um, not to mention, my Triceratops is about to tame up. So, that's fantastic, too. Okay, so, let's just drop our resources off real quick. We are, I believe, going to need some polymer. And since I don't have any organic polymer just yet, we're going to have to craft some up uh, by hand. Wait. Oh, wait, you can't craft polymer. No, we are going to need... Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to need a fabricator. I'm nowhere near ready to do that. In that case, I am going to need organic polymer if I want to get some of these. Or I've got to find another way to get my hands on it. Oh, snap. That's That sucks. All right, well, I guess the generator and fabricator are some things we're going to have to be working on pretty soon then, I suppose. All right, well, that's on the back burner for the time being then. What isn't going to be on the back burner, though? No, you're kidding me. I need hide. I can't even afford a saddle. Well, that is very disappointing. Sorry, little patchy. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I guess I can just knock you out and then we'll kill you. Sure, why not? Sorry, my guy. Thank you very much. And then you two, Parasaur. I'm sorry about this, but, you know, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Get some headshots in there. There we go. And unfortunately for you, you're never going to be waking up. So let me just do what needs to be done over here, eh? He'll never know what happened to him. I actually feel terrible <laughs> doing that. All right, that's all the hide that we need. Fantastic. There we go. That Triceratops saddle is coming up. Nice. All right, I got to get a campfire going too. I really need cooked meat. Let's get one of those right this second. We are just... I'm like surviving off of berries right now. I'm a little vegetarian. Am I... Am I, am I missing something? Flint! I'm missing flint of all things? All right, there we go. Now we got flint. <laughs> Campfire... There we go. All right, let's actually get some meat going. Oh my goodness. All right, you can just... I guess you're going to go there. That's not where I was going to put you, but it's your thing. Okay, hook me up some meat. And I'm going to go down here and pay my second time a visit. Hello, hello, hello. <gasps> Wait a second. Where's your baby? We were going for a two-for-one deal. You had a little... Oh, I should have come straight here when I knew you were about to tame up. Your little baby's run away. Hold on. Did I just spot it? It's going to stand out quite a bit. At the end of the day, it is a magenta-colored little creature. Um, I don't know where it's gone. No. Oh, man. I really wanted it. Oh, well. It wasn't meant to be, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Not ready to go and attack a prime alpha. However... I do want to see what sort of damage this thing can do. So let's go and charge this thing up and unleash on this Biomia. Nothing. It just knocked it back a little bit. 268 damage. And we're being outrun by the thing too. Okay. So, I mean, solid damage. But it's not going to take down a, a T-Rex by any chance. Uh, definitely no chances of that. Hey, where's Violet running off to? She was just like charging away for some reason. Come back over here, Violet. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know who got you in a spook, but come over here. You can come chill out with... Uh... Whoa, I guess I got to give my friend over here a name, don't I? I was meant to have a little mother-child mother, mother um, combo going on over here, but I guess that's not going to be the case. We are going to call... I mean, I kind of... I think it's a self-explanatory one. We're going to stick to our little current naming conventions. Pinky! Come on, it's like the most Barbie... It's like a little Barbie dream car. <laughs> Just call you a little Barbie dream car. Anyways, I think I do have an idea for moving forward from here. And I think it is as simple as us heading out and looking for some alpha dodos, which we just so happen to have a whole bunch of them nearby. Um, I think these guys here are going to be 
what we need to do moving forward. I think we're going to get some kills on these fellas over here. From memory, they do have... I mean, they don't have like a crazy amount of health. This one does. Never mind. This one is like ridiculous. <laughs> this one is very... Oh, wow. Not to mention though. It looks like... Mega Mastax, what did you just steal from me? You almost tamed yourself as well. Come back here. Come back here. Hey -ya! Yeah. Go to... Wait. What did you take from me? Did you eat them? Oh, I guess so. All right. Well, look. I need some hides, so I may as well grab that from you. Uh, yeah, my berries, I'm pretty sure. Um, This thing is actually really, really... Yeah. That's going to be tough. The more I look at it. Also, what is this? Hold on. There's a little frost mess a bit there, guys. Hello. Ooh. Again, it says you can tame these with cyan berries, but I kind of find that hard to believe. It do definitely doesn't let... No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, no way. Stop it. Stop that. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Wow. Little monkeys just be throwing little lightning bombs. My goodness. Whoa. Okay, I need some I need some of these little elementals. My goodness. Uh cool. Alright, well, you know what? In that case, I think it makes sense. We gotta we gotta I need some better armor. My armor keeps getting busted. It's time for us to upgrade to flak, I think. At least if we have the means to do so. Which, with that little bit of height I just collected, we might actually be able to do. I'm gonna Grab a full set. Uh, what am I missing here? Gauntlets. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's grab those there as well. Get a full set of flag gear going. Thankfully, we got metal. It's been slowly, slowly, slowly cooking up. In fact, entirely cooked up. Nice. Uh, that's going to at least keep us alive a little bit longer. So we can, you know, I guess start facing some somewhat stronger foes. Let me get that, that back on over there. Get rid of that as well. Uh, yeah, okay. No, look, I... <laughs> Let me go and I mean this monkey is like the prime opportunity if I can if I can actually Get a hit on it. I should be able to kill this pretty quickly or at least knock it out It's it's it doesn't have a lot of health I'm just kind of curious if it's well, I don't really know. Let's just let's just see what happens. Eh? I can bowler it So that's good um, And then if I shoot it with an arrow Dude, that's a lot of headshot damage. Yo. Yeah, I just want to kill it to see if it drops anything special, basically. Uh, and that answer would be... Yo, hello. Badass tokens. This shiny object was obtained from slaying a badass. Sounds so wrong saying that in a video. But anyways. Um, okay. So we do get little tokens from those guys. As for the alpha dirt I don't really know what to do with him. This thing's got a lot of health. I'm pretty sure I can deal that damage. Um, I feel like if I attack it though, these turkeys and stuff are going to come at me, but I guess we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. Can I bowl you is the question. And if I do, am I about to get, yep, 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 yep. Big turkey, big turkey coming at us. Run. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? Well, there goes my, 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 oh, I can't even respawn at my base. I'm going to wait another two and a... Okay, we need more beds at our base if that's the case. Um, respawn, random location. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we're, we're, that's that's where we're at right now. Oh, great. Just to make matters even better. We're about to get... Yep, that's what I thought. Although, a little friendlier than the usual. Uh, am I really going to run all the way? I guess I have to. Great. Okay. I, I mean, I knew it was going to happen and it happened exactly as I suspected it would. Silly by me. I forget there is an overspawn of golden dodos in this world. Ugh. Well, I guess the good news is... Uh, wait, did I just leave? Nope. Uh, my guys here, they kind of <laughs> minded their own business. They didn't go and, uh, you know kamikaze themselves and, and get themselves caught up in all of this mess so that's good um look that alpha dodo i think is going to be too strong anyways so let's go and see if we can find another one uh well we know that there's a whole bunch of them around there's a whole in fact look at these two little low level ones over here there's level 200 yeah we just happen to be living right next to the level 601 and i just remembered again i now have no armor so I actually probably am going to have to kill myself to get back to base. That that really sucks. Otherwise, I can grapple my way back, of course. Yeah. All right. Well, I got I to gotta grapple back to base so I can, I can repair my armor now. 
Well, I didn't think we we're going to be back here so soon repairing our gear, but uh, lo and behold, here we are. And I actually, well, I mean, is there any point? Because it just seems like everything in this world is going to want one shot us anyways. <laughs> what is the point? What is the point? I do not know. We may as well just nudie run it. But there we go. All right, we got our full gear back. I've got my glider suit back. Now, where is that little dodo? Whee! Right over here. Okay, how strong are you? All right, yeah, surely, right? Surely. As long as there's nothing around that's going to want me dead, I can I can totally bowler this, right? Bam. And then it's going to be up to me. All right, yeah, look at that. Dude, this crossbow is strong on a headshot. That's good, because I don't have many other means to deal a lot of damage. So this will be our first alpha kill. Unless something surprise attacks me from behind, but it looks like we're pretty good in that department. Uh, maybe I should just poke this thing in the head with a pike. I feel like that'd be a lot cheaper and a lot more time efficient. But I think we might just be able to sneak in this last arrow before he pops out. Oh, with like a second to spare. And, ooh, okay. Black pearls, alpha tokens, some trank arrows, and a small experience elixir and then i assume when we harvest it we're actually going to get some alpha hide and some alpha blood that's good because we're going to have to do that a lot of times by the looks of it um to get alpha treats we need 350 blood and yeah okay and we got some tokens and stuff so that's pretty sweet but it looks like to get one of these we actually need some of these treats which means elemental dinosaurs are meant to be crafted first so we're going to start with these then but then these require golden treats Who's pushing me around? And to get golden trees, we somehow then need to take down golden dinosaurs too? I guess? Oh, somebody just tried to bowl me. Which means we then don't need to tame an alpha just yet. But what we want to tame... Oh my goodness, are you... Why did a golden turkey attack me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought the people took me down, but the golden turkey, I didn't even attack anything. All right. Well, I guess, go yeah, I don't know. Golden dinosaurs seem to be like the gatekeeper before alphas then. And they're all, I mean, look how much health they've got. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, we've kind of gathered that by now, right? That I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, I'm not even going to bother with armor anymore because I'm just getting one shot by everything. So like, what's the point? Uh, but we are, I guess, slowly getting our hands on some stuff. As far as golden dinosaurs go, though, and I know there's a lot of them, they're all they're all max level, every single one of them. So, like, they are all stacked with health. So that sucks. Let me check out these elementals, though, right? Because we know that there's a few of those lying around. In fact, there was just that Mesopithecus that we just kind of ran into. Um, I know there's some raptors. Maybe those raptors are a good idea for us to check out, actually. Hold on a second. Just underneath the obelisk over here. This might me need to be the direction we go. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Not a prime alpha dodo. Let me just land right here. Okay, so there's some little raptors down here we've been kind of kind of watching. Like, they are team worthy. We just need some treats. Sorry, I thought I heard something kind of like creeping up behind me. Even this guy here. That would be a good call. Oh, well, yeah, I'm about to die then, aren't I? All right, hold on. Let me save this. We're good. Yeah, I think these guys are probably the play, to be honest. But I need them trees. Which means we're going to need a farm. So I guess that is priority right now. We got to set ourselves up a veggie farm. A big veggie farm at that when you think about it. Which means it may be time for us to i guess set up a little bit of a home away from home i'm thinking one of these little islands over here just somewhere nice and safe and secluded because these shorelines cannot be trusted they cannot be trusted one bit but hey close enough to resources and close enough to this little house as well i think that's probably the best option for us um if i were to want to get some foundations for this What's my best bet here? I'm thinking we're, we're at least going to need... Oh, well, how about crop plots? Let me see how expensive this is all going to be. I'm going to have to go collect some... Okay, I thought these require metal. I guess not. Oh, that's cool. All right, what do I need? What are we, what are we missing? So, I we, we're a minimum. Minimum, we're going to need two crop plots for each. I'm going to need... uh Well, I think everything. <laughs> Wood, thatch, and fiber. 
and stone. I think stone's the other resource we're going to need for this one here. Um, so I guess let's get smashing. <laughs> There's no shortage. We need we need to pull out all the stops to make this happen. I guess we're setting up a farm. And the sooner we go collect a bunch of berries, uh, not berries, veggies, the sooner we can uh, tame some of these elemental badass dinosaurs. And we can start getting some proper kills going. Otherwise, it's possible we just got to go and uh, tame some old school carnivores. I don't know. A Rex, a Therry, a Megatherium. Something with a bit of firepower. Bit of, bit of heavy, heavy duty smashing power um, that we can start farming some creatures with. I think we've collected just about every... Well, I don't know. Let's have a look, eh? 80 of these crop plots. We're still missing some stone. 49 of it. What else am I missing? Hold on. I'm missing something else there as well. Uh, just stone. Just stone. All right. All right. A little bit more stone. There's a rock right behind me. And I'm really heavy because I'm crafting, of course. This little fella right here that I smacked a little bit. Only had nine left on it. Dang it. <laughs> all right. Now we have enough. Do we just... Oh, I guess I'll just place this stuff on some wood foundations we're gonna need a minimum of 16 of those and again i don't have the resources for that what are we missing though everything definitely everything we're missing wood thatch and fiber i thought we had enough fiber but i guess not that's fine right let me go punch some trees then and a little bit of fiber <laughs> and that should be everything that we need now and i guess in good news we've actually got um some thatch foundations I picked up a little while ago. So I can go and use these here as well. Last thing, though, that we are going to need is a little bit of a tap. Okay, I only need one. But I guess I've run out of stone. Um, that's right. I can do that in the wild. We can just head down to our little spot of choice. We're going to just do it over here. Or do I do it? I kind of I got my eye on one of these islands over here. I think eventually I am going to migrate over in this direction. So... I mean, at least then we get access to these, like, supply drops, too. Which, by the way, don't mind if I do. Got some journeyman boots in there. Or epic chitin boots, rather. Uh, some crystal, some other stuff. And, yeah, these cryopods that I'm missing polymer for, unfortunately. But, hey, pretty nice boots. Fantastic. All right, at least this is kind of, like, resourcey, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's build a little bit of a, a greenhouse here. And eventually... I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll come and live out here or something. We will see. All right. Now, though, it's just going to be a simple little one, two, three, and four. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five. This will all be... I don't know. We could replace this after because this is going to be a pretty atrocious kind of build for now. One, two, three, and four. I don't even know why I'm building this, like, in the middle of the place. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to need some water, of course. Oh, that's right. i got to go and harvest some some stone really quickly. Is this a rock? It sure is. We actually need a little bit of it, too. So there we go. Now, what more did I need? Bam. And I think I need a little bit of wood just for the last. Well, the tap. Bam. That'll do it. And that pretty much gets us a functioning farm all right so our little tap thing well i guess i can just place it anywhere so i just drop it right there i suppose we'll place our tap up here i don't even think the tap matters really does it can this reach everything can that reach is everything is everything gonna be irrigated yep irrigated and over the other side irrigated fantastic now we just need seeds and fertilizer um which i have neither of <laughs> well actually technically this is where our few little teams over here might actually come in handy pinky and violet where are you guys i need some seeds and you guys might actually have them on you already all right pinky i'll check you first Hopefully this turkey is kind of nice and peaceful for us. Um, we have two long grass seeds. We got two citronal seeds. Uh, yes, you got some. Damn. You got some gillian stuff on you too? That's pretty good. Okay, so that's two of the veggie variants already sorted. Violet, how you going? Rocky carrot, rocky carrot. And that's it. Uh, I'm missing savory. One and two. Bam, there we go. Oh, fantastic. Lovely. 
Thank you very much for doing a little poop for me there. And now we just need fertilizer. So that's the, the big one that we're missing now. Uh, I guess we've got a few guys that can help us out with that. But we just need more poop. Uh, I thought I just saw a poop over here. There we go. I mean, if, if I can just start out by grabbing eight pieces of poop just to get these things started, then I'll worry about the fertilizer after that. As far as fertilizer goes, though. Uh, nope, don't need that. We are going to need a compost bin to help us. I was just wondering if there was like any modded structures that might help us kind of uh, speed things up just to touch in the poop department, but I don't think that's going to be the case. You know what would help us out though? There was a Fiomia a little earlier that I punched and he ran away. I don't know where he ended up, but that is exactly the tame that I need right this second. Let's see if we can find him. Biomia. Where are you, my friend? Wow. Okay. Ah, uh, we're going over here. Decent level, too. I'll be able to knock that out with relative ease. It just might take a little while to tame up. Pinky. You got any medjos for me by any chance? 311. That should just about do it. All right. Let's go and see what we're working with over here. And try and avoid any trouble because there are... Oh, gosh. Uh... Villages, I assume. I assume. I don't know where they are, but I, uh, yo, yo, yo. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, oh gosh, where's my wave? I got a wave. Okay. Well, hello. Hello. I come in peace. No, I said I come in peace. Where are you? <laughs> I, I'm getting attacked, but I don't know where from. All right, let's just ignore that then. Unfortunately, golden dodo out here. That's 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 terrible news. Uh, and this guy's going to take 94. Man, you're going to take ages to tame. But that's fine. That's fine. Got to do what you got to do, I suppose. Um, cool. Well, can I bully? I think so. Oh, I'm thirsty. Not the time to be drinking water, but we got to do what we got to do. And let's see if we can make this happen before the dodo catches on to what we're doing over here. Are we good? Oh gosh, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hello, how you doing? I come in peace. I'm friendly. All right, Fiomia, have some berries. And uh, I'm going to leave you to it. <laughs> I'll come back and grab you another time. This place is not safe for me right this second. But uh, all right, we've got a source of poop now. So with that, we can set up some compost bins. We can fuel our farm. And I get the feeling that sooner rather than later, we're going to have access to those veggies. And then uh, eventually, I guess, we'll be able to tame some of these elemental badass dinosaurs. Guys, I'm going to end this one right here. If you did enjoy the video, then please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. But most importantly, have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.